In this video, I'm going to build and review this 3 inch diameter fiberglass rocket made by Madco. The kit comes with over 15 feet of shock cord. The motor mount, fins, and centering rings are all made out of fiberglass, making for a very durable kit. I found the instructions well laid out with plenty of illustrations, making it easy to assemble. The first thing I did was to wash all the fiberglass parts in hot soapy water to make sure that the epoxy would be able to adhere to them. I have sanded all the parts that will receive epoxy with 120 grit sandpaper to ensure proper adhesion. I found that when I went to fit the centering rings to the motor mount tube that there was a little bit of a gap between the tube and the ring. I put tape an equal amount on each side until the ring fit tightly and then I secured it with a few drops of CA glue. In this picture you can see that I have applied a fillet between the motor mount tube and the centering ring to make for a stronger unit. It seemed like a good idea to add a quick link to the eye bolt but later on that decision would come back to haunt me and I'll cover that in just a few minutes. I've added a Kevlar shock cord because in a later video I will make this into a dual deploy rocket. I've also added an Aeropack retainer to hold the motor in. I find them very convenient, although it does add some expense to the rocket. After the motor mount has cured, I secured a paintbrush to a dowel. That way I can place epoxy inside the body tube. I put a pencil mark on the dowel so I can tell where the glue is going to end up inside the body tube. And make sure you leave uh, a little bit of room in the back there to apply some epoxy at the end of it and then slide the motor mount tube all the way forward into the body tube until you can just see the edges of the centering ring in the fin slots. That way the fins will rest against the uh, motor mount tube, uh, rather the motor mount centering ring, and provide additional support. This is where I began to experience problems with the quick link. Once the motor mount tube was dry, or rather cured, I let it sit overnight, the uh, quick link was wedged between the airframe and the motor mount tube and I had a, a lot of difficulty trying to get that back out. So what I ended up doing was using a piece of quarter inch all thread, I bent a little hook into it, grabbed hold of that quick link, gave it a good yank and out it came. I mixed up five grams of 30 minute epoxy. I had to heat it to 150 degrees Fahrenheit because it was a little bit too thick. I used a number 16 gauge needle and next time I think I will try a little bit larger needle. That 5 grams covered two fins and I just let them set for about 10 or 15 minutes and then I taped up the next fins as you can see in this picture here to make sure that I didn't spill any epoxy on the body tube. And after that set for a little bit I went ahead and mixed up the epoxy for the fin fillets. Now I used 4 grams per fin. I used 5 minute epoxy. Uh, as soon as I laid out the epoxy along the fin root there, I uh, pulled the tape off. You can see in this picture I used a craft stick to kind of drizzle the uh, epoxy into the fillet there. And then I just kind of uh, smoothed it out as I went. I mixed up a two part epoxy putty to fill a gap at the front of the fins. The rocket is assembled and ready for paint. In the next video, I'll build the altimeter bay and the payload section. Until then, we'll see you later.